All right, what's up? I'd like to welcome y'all to Major Music TV. It's your boy ID Doc coming at y'all with another video. This is gonna be a little bit different though. This is not necessarily going to be um, production based, but as I said earlier, if you've been following this channel for quite some time, I think it was July, I did a video in July about telling you about my progress as far as, so in July I believe I was around 729 um, subscribers on the channel and so a little bit about me if you want to go back and view that first video um, in the first video I talked about pretty much my whole journey on YouTube I've been having a YouTube channel since about 2009 I never really you know for me to have a channel that long for anyone to have a channel that long and to be just at this point I could have done much better but the flip side of it all is earlier this year, right before the pandemic, I actually decided really to go all in and start becoming a YouTuber and taking it a lot more seriously. What I mean by seriously, some of the things that I've been doing, and this is really uh, first about, I'm at 800 now. Uh, maybe a little bit more by the time I post this video, but I said when I started when I reach 800 I would do another video and the goal for the end of the year is to reach a thousand subscribers on this YouTube channel and to everybody that's joined me over the last what maybe eight months or so I appreciate you. Thank you for joining this community. We are a small but growing community and anyone that helps contribute to us growing and becoming a bigger community I definitely appreciate that from the bottom of my heart you know just to uh, really you see part of the thing with me personally is most people that know me personally would probably tell you that I'm a very introverted person and part of the reason I guess that I never really took YouTube seriously over those years was I really had a thing for not wanting to talk in front of people, not really wanting to be on camera much, uh, especially talking like I do now. And there was something else that, a good thing happened in my you know, life away from music um, at my, my day job, which uh, over the past year, I've kind of gotten more used to talking in front of larger crowds. It was something really that I think in turn helped me with this channel. I wasn't able to do it before. It became a lot more easier for me. You know, I, at times there are times where I think I could do better, but as this channel was growing, so am I. You know, I'm learning more and more about just different things on YouTube as far as trends. Um, you know, for anybody that is producing music right now and starting a channel uh, the first thing I would say is you have to be consistent and with that being said I've kind of stuck to a formula um, throughout this whole year where maybe one day of the week I'll post a video where I'm talking about something music production related it could be something on new gear and new software maybe uh, new plugins, whatever that looks like. And then I may have another day where I post a beat making video. Uh, I usually do it once a week, but this month in October, I'm actually doing uh, the Beatover challenge from producer Tatro, who's also another YouTuber. He's kind of um, a part of his community as well. And what he's kind of done is challenge everybody in the community to post a beat making video every day. So I'm doing that for the entire month of October. Uh, that is something that is also helping to draw traffic to the channel. One of the things is with the YouTube algorithm, the more you post, kind of the more that they put you on that front page of YouTube uh, for those new, new visitors. And then also, you know, aside from that, start posting about things that are hot topics at the moment. What I've kind of learned in the last, uh, what, eight months or so with uh, Machine Plus, that's been a hot topic. I've made a video about that, the MPC-1 
that's a very hot topic right now. It's been a hot topic for pretty much the whole year. I know a lot of people earlier this year were not able to get a MPC-1 and then some people finally got their MPC-1 in and they needed a place to find tutorials on how to use the MPC-1. I know a lot of the MPC live videos that are out now will still apply to that but uh, you know for some people they may have been looking for MPC-1 related videos so what I did was as I learned on MPC-1 I started to put out videos on things that I learned in the process and uh, I watch a lot of other people's videos as well too so you know I get a lot from a lot of other YouTubers I think there are a lot of really great producers with a lot of good information I, what I like is you know I personally haven't gotten the opportunity to yet but the, a lot of the producers that are collaborating on YouTube related projects online that's something that you know maybe in the near future I may want to do I am thinking of ways personally of expanding the channel uh, to some different things on another day what I might do so I talked about I may post about the uh, hottest topics or trends and then I'll talk about posting beat making videos and then I may post an instrumental once a week so I actually post things about three times a week to uh, connect with the community and connect with artists as well connect with producers and artists I know there are both that follow this channel as well as that follow me on Instagram and um, I mean outside of that you know the biggest thing I'm learning is consistency is really the key um, I do have some ideas I'm thinking of expanding the channel with come 2021 uh, there are several other things that I want to do that are music production related kind of exploring a lot of ideas we'll see what what path I decide to go down but I will say stay tuned for some more things my goal for the end of 2020 was to reach a thousand subscribers to this channel will I get there who knows um, you know I could finish a little bit between 950 and uh, that thousand um, I could finish maybe I think I will probably definitely hit 900 I think the journey from 900 to a thousand may be where um, I don't know I might I might hit that thousand a little bit after the new year but we'll see if you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time definitely thank you thank you thank you you know for a lot of people that may have been on here um, a little bit longer or they might have bigger followings and you know me celebrating 800 might be a small victory to, to some people but you know to me considering the fact that at one point this year I decided to really start getting consistent as far as the content and the videos that I was putting out the other thing is this if you are one of those producers that are starting a new YouTube also make sure that you're creating some kind of connection in those videos don't just put out videos for the sake of putting out videos make sure the videos are providing value to the people that are going to your channel if you just make it a beat making video and that's that's also the other thing like I've been putting out beat making videos on YouTube for years but where I noticed things kind of started to change is when I started doing this when I started connecting and talking to the people in the community answering comments uh, not just on on YouTube but also on my Instagram or even on Twitter uh, so that's something that will go a long way don't just let people comment on your on your channel and not say anything back always uh, support the people that support you always rock with them I've noticed since I started doing those little things the channel and not just there also my Instagram and then even like plays and listens on like Apple Music as well as Spotify because I put out a lot of projects on there as well uh, if you do by the way have any one of those services definitely check me out on there or really any platform uh, that's gonna be d.online you're gonna see a whole list of my projects come up if there are any questions anything you know that you guys want as far as videos from me 
uh, if you see me using any type of gear or any type of software expansions whatever that looks like definitely feel free to comment and if I know uh, the answer to your question I'm gonna do a video on it if not I know a lot of phenomenal other producers out there that have really great videos that I can point you in the right direction to and um, you know as I said before thank you to everybody that subscribed to this channel that follows me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you are much appreciated and until next time I'm out mm -hmm.